What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing another standard deck for the Brothers War standard format. Um, this is a pretty fun one, kind of uh, out of left field. You're not, you don't see it much in the current metagame tournament standings, but uh, I've been toying around with it a bit, and it seems to um, do pretty well in the testing and after playing a few games on the ladder. It's a Mardu Aggro, and the idea behind the deck is... Uh, to play some of the best prototype creatures in the format, or X and Gorger and Still Seraph, and um, be able to attack with those using their abilities, but be able to blink them uh, in, into play using the channel ability from Touch the Spirit Realm, which uh, brings them back in their full form. Uh, it's pretty nice too because you can also use Touch the Spirit Realm to protect them um, if they're being targeted with, with removal. And same thing with your other creatures Shieldred, Blood Tithe Harvester. Um, Tenacious Underdog, and then the Race Last Transmigrant, which is a really nice addition to the deck as well, um, that you can um, bring back from your graveyard at instant speed um, to attack with it the, uh, if you're doing it at the end of your opponent's turn. We have uh, the Fable of the Mirror Breaker to make uh, token copies of all your creatures except for Shieldred, and then uh, some good good removal suite uh, with Cut Down, Go for the Throat, Infernal Grasp, and then we have two Wandering Emperor, uh, just kind of to to back up uh, your removal package, but also uh, to reinforce your creatures by uh, giving it plus one plus encounters or adding a samurai to the battlefield. So, um, it's a pretty mean deck and pretty aggressive in the way it goes about things. Uh, it, and then for our lands, it's just a uh, th this could be a slight weakness for it. It's just all non basics, so you can get the best uh, mana selection for uh, casting the spells for your deck. So, um, but other than that, though, it's it's uh, pretty fun to play and getting uh, these prototype creatures um, to their, use their fullest potential against your opponent. So um, I figure we can go check it out on the ladder and uh, see how it does in some uh, ranked games. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, playable. We got the two land. We can do Harvester and the Transmigrant. Just need one more land too, and we'll be able to do the rest of it. And also do the channel um, ability for the Touch the Spirit Realm, so let's give it a shot. Uh, playing a Delver deck. Interesting. Alright. Um. Might be a uh, Zorius Baroque style deck that we're playing against. That's rough. Um, okay. Well. I don't want any double striking stuff going on, so I'm actually going to use the Touch the Spirit Realm ETB ability and then go ahead and attack. Go ahead and attack first here. Alright. Go ahead and do shield grid. is free combat will do the steel seraph and uh go to 
combat. I think we'll give Shildred um, some lifelink. That's fine. blocks. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and attack those. Maybe we could trade the Steel Seraph prototype version for the Storm Chaser Drake. Um, Ledger Shredder will probably kill one of those. But we'll take it out with the Blood Type Harvester. Vigilance. And, uh, I think we'll go ahead and end the turn there. Hold on to the Caves of Kolos to use with, with a blood token to discard. Possibly. First, though, I need to bring back the Razor Lash Transmigrant. That's playable. We'll go ahead and keep this. Let's see. The Shattered Sanctum first.
Exile. That's a bummer. Go ahead and mm. yeah, we'll just go ahead and kill Talia. Are still Sarah full price next turn. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. Give our token uh, flying, just fly over, get some points off from there. Bit of a race now. Uh, no blocks. Oh, nice. Okay. Um. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and copy the serif. Flying that vigilance and go ahead, go ahead and attack there. Let's see here. I'll go ahead and cast the Blood Tithe Harvester. We might need to copy that next turn, and it will pass. We have our Wandering Emperor to use. Hmm. Um. Yeah, it's fine. I think this is keepable. We have some early plays. And there's our third land, so that's good. Oh, go ahead. Drop that. Go 
ahead and get Kiki Jiki going with the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Looks like they might be. Oh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Go ahead and do the Blood Tithe Harvester. And, uh... That'll do it. Get that one on the board. See how this goes here. Next turn, see if we can attack this and the Tenacious Underdog. Shieldred. Yeah, we'll go ahead and blink that. Will also give us enough tokens to kill Sheldred, so let's just go ahead and do that and then we'll attack the, the underdog. Um, oh yeah, we got a draw. I don't want to take any more damage, so I'm gonna... Put an attack like that. Hold on to my land because we do need to get to seven to hard cast our Phyrexian Flesh Gorger if we draw it. So, um, we'll go like that. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll play Touch of the Spirit Realm. Speaking of which, that's a problem. Um, sure. Hmm. Oh, we haven't really drawn any creatures other than, well, that's not true. We just haven't drawn any of our, our big threats. And to target this is going to really cost us some life. Um, they have one card in their hand. I think we'll just go ahead and... Let it attack. We'll use the Wandering Emperor. Uh, with the life gain from that, we'll be able to... Um, Offset the damage a little bit. Finally, I'm home. You 
done. Go ahead and cut it down now. And uh, I guess we don't have much time to wait, so I'm going to go ahead and discard the Sundown Pass and get another land. Okay. Um we'll counter on that. Remember your training. And uh They have children. I might be able to get one more attack out of them, so. Uh, that'll kill us. We take two from that, and then Shieldred resolves. Um, I'll go ahead and pass. That's a bummer on that sleeper agent, or the evolved sleeper. Attack. And then we'll make a samurai. May your blade strike. I'll cast our own shield right there. I had a feeling that was going to happen. We just got that at the right time. Hold on. Hmm. Yes, yeah, playable. Let's give it a shot. Quarter for its uh, prototype cost. Might be able to blink that. Ah. Okay.
Yeah, we'll go ahead and attack there. And we'll pass. We'll just stop at the our second main phase. Ah, interesting. We'll have to kill Squee before they attack. That's pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and kill Squee here. Like we're gonna take some damage. Okay. Go ahead and attack there. And with that life gain, that gives us enough to uh, cast the touch the spirit realm and be able to exile their flesh gorger. We'll pay the five, not too worried about it. We need to land though. Do our own nerve breaker. It's like they're looking for an answer. Take out our flesh gorger. Yeah, we need that land, so I'm gonna go ahead and discard the underdog. Ah, they're gonna concede. Okay, we'll take it. Hmm. I think we can keep this. We have some early interaction and removal. We can cast that on turn three, so we'll go ahead and keep that. Not the most aggressive hand, but we have a chance to uh, at least survive the early game for the most part. Like an Esper deck? Ah, the Raven Man. I don't like the Raven Man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. I'll do the mirror breaker first. Still try to advance our board state. That's fine. Good thing we didn't play the Seraph. <laughs> um, now I'm going to decline this time around. Uh, let's see here. Ask the still Sarah. Uh, I probably should have played my land first and then did that. Um, oh, I didn't take the damage. And uh... 
bummer. Okay. Well, they seem to be missing their land drop, so we're gonna keep keep things going. Gicks. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. And then, uh... Go ahead and attack. And we'll pass. I hope we're ready to lose. I think we're going to save Kiki Jiki. Card of land. There we go. I think we'll go ahead and cast him for the woods cost. Now we'll go to combat. I'm doing this for the card draw, because we're uh, running low on resources in hand. I'll be back. Got him. Just too aggressive for him, and they were behind on land drop, so. Alrighty, so that was the uh, Mardi Gras Aggro deck using some of the new cards from the Brothers War. Um, really did pretty pretty well there. Uh, four and one. Uh, just lost to that mono black deck, but um, uh, and that uh, sea of shieldreds that just kept coming at us, but uh, did pretty good. Um, I really like the aggressive nature of it and the resilience of it, being able to bounce back with uh, uh, some of the creatures, um, also being able to uh, blink them out and bring them back in as full-formed uh, artifact creatures with uh, that are hard to kill. So uh, that was pretty fun. I think the only changes I may make for the deck is maybe work in one more land. Um, having 25 in a three-color deck, I think would be pretty decent. And then maybe find a way to work in that uh, artifact, the Transmigrant Crown. Uh, we do have a lot of creatures that, that die quite often, like our, our Goblin Tokens, the Razor Lash Transmigrant, Tenacious Underdog, Blood Tithe Harvester, stuff like that. 
Um, and having that that equipment uh, to be able to draw cards off of those death triggers uh, might be pretty nice. But uh, other than that, I think the deck's pretty solid. It definitely um, caused a lot of problems for our opponents. They didn't have answers for it. So um, something fun to play if you're looking to play it on the ladder or just playing for fun or take it to F&M um, or play with your friends and stuff. So um, hope hope you like the deck. But uh, I think that'll do it for this this particular video. Um, I'll be back again soon with some more more standard decks. And uh, um, if you want to catch when I do have those uh, post those new decks, you can subscribe to my channel on YouTube, MTG Road Players. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment if you like, and that way you'll get notified whenever I post a, a new video with a, a new standard deck. So, but until then, I think that'll do it for this one, and we will see you next time, everybody. Take care.